A gnarled branch sits among the supple, standing out because of its disfigurement. People notice but care not for its suffering. It observes its poor treatment, envying those around it. It can do nothing to save itself. It tries in vain to, but its emaciated body allows nothing but decay. It wonders how long it has, waiting for death, waiting for happiness. A lone figure sits in the shadows, watching the digression of a once young sapling. He contemplates what he could do, wonders what others would think of him. He stands alone. Like the branch, no one cares for him. He too envies those around him, but unlike the tree, he has a chance to make himself happy. Both the man and the bow allocate their misery, shedding dreary light on those around them forces others to back away, leaving them alone. Together they pouted and devised a plan. Together they can make themselves happy. Sick and tired of all that is said about them, the man watches and wonders and believes. Nothing can work how he planned. There is only one way to make a stand. Only one way to stand out in a way that sets all others on end, causing them to doubt their own devices and adapt perspectives of realism, bow to the inevitable, ponder providence, he will prove to himself. Together in private the congregation begins, the man and the bow and the plan. The man climbs that lush tree to its only flaw, on that flaw he will make a difference. The bow has similarities too similar to his own, he ignores them and goes forth, he drops, his breath stops. The one passage of life heathes and aches. All too soon the bow breaks. 